Hi, so in this video we're going to be looking at questions relating to exponential growth and decay. Now in these sorts of questions you're given a, an equation containing an exponential that models some sort of real life situation, normally involving some sort of quantity or measurement in time. Um, so in this example we have a substance is decaying exponentially, and exponentially means that the power is the variable. Its mass, uh, m grams after t years, is given by this thing here. So we want to find the initial mass, the time when the mass is 50 grams, and the rate at which the mass is decreasing when t equals 20. So we're going to go uh, one part at a time. So the initial mass, uh, the initial mass is just when t equals zero. So it's right at the beginning of the experiment or the measurements. Uh, so we put t equals zero in here. Anything to power zero is one. So 100 times one is just going to give you a, a hundred. So the initial mass is 100 grams. Um, the time when the mass is 50 grams. Um, now the problem we have here is that our time is the power. So we need to release the power, um, and we do this by taking logs. So first of all, we put m equals 50, put in there. We want to leave the exponential here on its own, so we um, divide by 100. 50 over 100 gives us a half. And then we're going to take logs to release our t from being a power, um, because the answer of a log is a power. So we can do this two ways. We, here I've done it by taking logs each um, on both sides, or you can just rewrite this straight from here to here, if you're happy doing that. OK, so ln of a half. And it's ln because we're log in base e. And obviously, our base is e. Gives you ln of this side. And then when, if you remember from your log rules, when we have a power inside a log, we can put it outside the log. And then uh, ln of e is 1, because what power do I need in log of base e to get e? Uh, the power is 1. And so we go straight to here. So ln of a half equals minus 0.02t. And you don't need the other uh, line. You can just go straight from there to there. So we can rearrange that, uh, divide by our 0 0.02 minus 0 0.02, and then we get our answer. OK, so the last bit, um, the rate at which the mass is decreasing at t equals 20. So when we're talking about our mass decreasing and the rate at which it's decreasing, we're looking at the change in the mass with respect to time. So how much is the mass in changing over a given time? So we do this by differentiating. And hopefully you remember when you differentiate y equals e to the x, you get dy by dx equal e to the x. And if you have y equals e to the function of x, you get the differential of the function times e to the f of x. Um, so this is a sort of standard result. So when we look at this and we differentiate it, we get 100 times the differential of this. So that would just be minus 0 0.02 times uh, e to whatever the power was. So once we've got this, we can just put t equals 20. Uh, that goes in there. And then you can put it in your calculator, and you get this. Now, you mustn't worry that this is negative, uh, because we were expecting our mass to be decreasing with time. And the negative just means it's decreasing. You would worry if it says it's decreasing, and you get a positive. OK, now the second question, instead of having um, using the exponential function, we just have a exponential. So we need to know this result. When you differentiate a to the power of x, you get a to the power of x times ln a. And that is ln a, not uh, log in base a. It's ln log in base e. And if this happens to be a function of x, just like before, um, you get the differential of the function times a to the f of x ln a. And I haven't proved it here, but um, you can prove it by taking logs of both sides um, of y equals a to the x, and then differentiating both sides with respect to x. OK, so in this question, question we have the temperature, um, it should be temperature given by big T, uh, T minutes after 9 o'clock is modeled as this thing here. Initial, we want to find the initial temperature, we want to find the time when the temperature reaches 30, and we want to find the rate of decrease of temperature at 920. OK, so we have this, and we want to find the initial temperature. So the initial temperature is when t equals 0. So the amount of time passes 0. Um, so we put 0 in there, 
and they think the power of zero is one, so 25 plus 10 is going to give you uh, that the temperature is 35 degrees. Okay, find the time when the temperature reaches 30 degrees. Now, again, we have um, the problem of our time is up in the power, so we're going to take logs. Uh, this time, because we're, our base is 2, it'll be logs in base 2. So we put T equals 30 in here. And again, I want to have this bit here, the exponential bit, on its own. Um, so I'm going to take 25 from my 30, gives me 5, and then I'm going to divide by 10. 5 over 10 is a half. Taking log in base 2 or both sides gives me a half. And because it's log in base 2 and we have the 2 there, that would just be 1. What power um, would I need in base 2 to get 2 at the power of 1? So I don't need to write that out. Um, and then I have the minus 0 0.12, which I was able to bring in front of my log. So you can go straight to this. So just practice practice doing that, because it's not a difficult step, you just have to remember how to do it. Uh, and then uh, we want to rearrange to get t. Um, so we divide by 0 0.01. Now, on your calculator, um, you should find there's a button which allows you to change the base. So you've got your standard login base 10 and your LUN, your login base E, and there's one where you can choose the base. So you need to locate that on your calculator. Put in your calculator, and we get T equals 100 minutes. Uh, but we want the actual time, and so we knew the initial time was 9 o'clock, and so 100 minutes after 9 o'clock is 10.40. Okay, the last bit, the rate of decrease of temperature at 9.20. So we're trying to see how the temperature is decreasing with time, so how the temperature changes with time. So we're trying to find uh, d big T by d little t. Uh, so we're going to differentiate this using the same rule that we um, used before. So differential of a to the f of x equals f dash of x a to the f of x lum a. Sorry, a bit of a mouthful. Um, so you keep, we differentiate 25 and you get 0. Keep the 10 and then you have the differential of this thing here. So that's minus 0. Point 0, 1, and then you just write out the whole this whole bit here that just goes in, and then the last bit you have ln in base a uh, ln of two, so a being the base, it's this number here, and it's not log in base two. So I know I keep saying it, but people go wrong there. So it's ln of two, um, and then once we've got all that, we can just put t equals twenty in here, and it all just slots into our calculator and gives us our answer. Okay, um, there were some tricky little bits, and if you've seen this for the first time and you're not sure, just watch it again. Uh, the hard bits are taking logs, and you just need to learn that sort of process and differentiating eta a function of x. There are videos which go over those things, so if you need to go back and look at those and then watch this again, please do. Okay, bye.